and welcome to another edition of Currently in Quincy. I'm Joe Catalano, and on today's program, we'll be chatting with Janet Little of the Quincy Farmers Market and learn all about their brand new location this year. First, though, we do check out the weather and the news for you. Currently in Quincy, some hazy sunshine out there. It's a sticky 76 degrees. It'll warm up to the low to mid 80s this afternoon. That'll fire off some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Some of them could be rather heavy, so look out for that. Clearing out late tonight, and the humidity will be dropping with lows into the lower 60s. Not a bad weekend coming up. Tomorrow, much drier, much cooler, too, with a mix of sun and clouds. Highs tomorrow only in the upper 60s. Mostly cloudy here on Sunday for Father's Day. It's still rather cool with highs in the upper 60s. Beautiful here on Monday with uh, sunshine, just a few high thin clouds. Monday's highs in the comfortable mid-70s. Again, a hazy 76 degrees in Quincy right now. In the news today, Quincy City Council is considering whether or not to borrow $53 million for the next phase of the Quincy Center redevelopment project. That bond would be used to purchase three properties along Hancock Street in Quincy Center for redevelopment. Uh, two of the properties would be conveyed to Fox Rock Properties of Quincy, and one, a burned out building, would be sold on the open market. Fox Rock has proposed creating a medical office building which may not be taxed as a commercial space. Mayor Thomas Koch says that a payment in lieu of taxes program is being discussed. We're still working through that um, and uh, we'll continue to work through that. That that has nothing to do with the, the DIF expenditure. That's the LDA issue, the interpretation of the LDA, which the council had already voted on. And we'll work through that. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, Bringing life science, biotech, and medical use to the downtown is a yeoman's job and not an easy thing to do. And uh, we, we had promised that uh, we would incentivize that to help bring back the medical services to Quincy as well as to bring new jobs, life science, biotech. So that will all work itself out. I'm confident of that. Part of the plan also calls for the city to purchase the IHOP restaurants for the creation of a 500-plus space parking garage. Quincy City Council is on its way to approving $15 million for the construction of a new Quincy animal shelter. The Finance Committee this week voted in favor of the funding that's needed to build that new shelter off Quarry Street right next to the new dog park. Design architect Eric Nelson says the new shelter will be welcoming to the public and also reflect the history of the city. The building features uh, three stone walls that step back as um, the building climbs up the hill. <clears throat> and this is uh, obviously a nod to the history of Quincy. Um, it's also a very durable, long-lasting, good-looking material that the community can take um, pride of. Um, the main entrance to the facility juts out of the, the, the main stone wall and it has a, a shed roof that basically is facing up and, and, and opens to the, to the community. The cost of the new shelter has ballooned in recent years after it was first being proposed six years ago. At-large Councillor Ann Mahoney voted against the funding due to those increased costs, and at-large Councillor Nina Liang voted present. The full City Council will vote on the plan at next Tuesday night's meeting. Six votes are needed for passage. State Street Foundation is providing a grant to the new Early College High School program in Quincy for the second year in a row. The foundation has awarded $528,000 to the program. It allows 10th through 12th graders in Quincy Public Schools the opportunity to take college courses while they're still in high school. The grant is in combination with state funding. It provides the resources needed to offer the college level courses at both Quincy and North Quincy high schools. 40 seniors who completed the first year of the program this year receive full tuition first semester Quincy College scholarships for classes that begin this coming fall. 150 students enrolled in the program last year. 250 are expected for the upcoming second year of the program. 
Norfolk County Register of Deeds Bill O'Donnell says he will stop fighting the decision by the county commissioners to eliminate the full-time on-site information technology officer at the registry. O'Donnell says the position will be cut as of July 1st after the commissioners refused to reverse their vote of a year ago to cut that position. Commissioners voted to eliminate the post based on the recommendations of a consultant. However, O'Donnell argued that the consultant never talked to him or visited the registry. He says the information technology position is vital to preventing cyber attacks on the registry's electronic real estate records. O'Donnell acknowledged that he will have to, quote, move on, but encouraged voters to let their feelings be known when county commissioners come up for re-election. 53-year-old Alexander Ivanenko has been charged with attacking a 67-year-old woman at the MBTA's Alewife Red Line Station in Cambridge this past Monday morning. MBTA police say Ivanenko grabbed the woman by the neck and threw her to the ground. She was recovering at a hospital. Ivanenko was arrested on Hancock Street in Wollaston Monday night. He was ordered held without bail on assault and battery charges. Police say Ivanenko is homeless and has a lengthy record of similar attacks. Well, there are going to be several free family events on Wollaston Beach in Quincy this summer thanks to a grant from Save the Harbor, Save the Bay. The nonprofit group announced that the Friends of Wollaston Beach and the Quincy Department of Natural Resources will receive a $14,000 grant to host Kids Fest on September 4th, along with taught lot events, concerts, and some senior lunches. The grants were also awarded to Quinn Cycles and Quincy Asian Night Market to host events, including tomorrow's Summer Safety Fest on Wollaston Beach and the Quincy Beach Circus. 62 beach groups from Nahant to Nantasket received a total of over $237,000 in grants this year. That is our check of news today. Coming up, we'll sit down with Janet Little of the Quincy Farmers Market next. Welcome back. The Quincy Farmers Market is moving this year. They're headed uptown to St. Chrysostom's Episcopal Church on Hancock Street in the Wollaston area. So Janet Little has uh, stopped on by to tell us all about this uh, brand new endeavor. Hi Janet. Hello. Good to see you. It's nice to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we see Janet, I think spring really is here. There you go. Farmer's Market <laughs> Farmer's comes market. alive, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it the 40th year this year for the Quincy Farmers? It's the 41st. 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 41st wow. Year. Yeah. That's amazing. Any other <laughs> markets do you know in the area that have been around that long? There are some others I'm not uh, aware yeah. of. The, the, I know we're, we have a good track record history-wise. Sure. So. Yeah, there's no question. There are a couple that are a little longer. Been so has there ever been a weekend farmer's market in Quincy? No, but there will be now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? So, well, uh, the church approached us and asked us if we would bring a farmer's market to their grounds. And um, the citizens of the city have been asking for a weekend market for many years, and now they have it. Okay, <laughs> first year. So, yeah. so it's going to be on Sundays? Yes, from 1 to 5. Okay. Um, and it's a brand new market. Yep. Um, all new vendors. Really? Uh, yeah, we have four farmers coming. Uh, Charles River Farm is coming, and they specialize in microgreens, and they do some mushrooms. Uh, they'll have corn and peaches and a variety of vegetables. But they also have a great variety of plants. You can go down and buy some beautiful, beautiful, mom, well, mums in the fall, but yeah. all kinds of plants and uh, potted herbs as well. Fun, okay. And um, they'll have some, um, you know, zucchini plants and pepper plants, and, and they do the patio potato, mm -hmm. uh, tomato plant, plants. Super, yeah. And... Um, peppers and stuff so come on down and buy one of those and put them out on your patio and you'll get some nice fresh uh, tomatoes great um, for folks who live in an apartment or a condo yeah, right just exactly. have a balcony yeah, yeah not a lot of outdoor space mm -hmm. so that's good that, that's that's new that's I don't think that's ever happened before yeah okay and then uh, we have a farmer called his farm is called exceptional vegetables okay and he kind of specializes in Asian um, greens and different kinds of vegetables that um, we're going to all have a new culinary experience trying all these new vegetables. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. They're out of Bridgewater. Very nice. Um, we have a farmer called the Daily Farm coming. 
Uh, they're actually in, from Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, they grow organically, hmm. but they're not certified. I mean, certification is really a long process. Um, but for people that are asking for organic produce, they do grow organically. Okay. I mean, they'll have a wide variety of fruits and vegetables, and uh, you know, the berries and the melons and the peaches and the apples and um, stone cherries and mm. the, the very nice variety of stuff. Okay. And then we have um, an African farm, a Lavoxa, Lavoxa farm, from the World Farmers. I don't know if you're aware of this organization. It's an immigrant. I believe it's a believe it's for immigrants, but uh, there's a, it's like a co-op of farmers that work together and most of them um, are immigrants that come in farming is what they know, so they've set up farms here and they grow a lot of the ethnic foods that they would have eaten, um, you know, in their indigenous, indigenous countries, yeah. is that the right word? Yeah. yeah. But you'll also have things like zucchini and tomatoes. Okay. And so you but can try I'm some looking new things. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that because you know I love to cook. You are the <laughs> queen of Quincy <laughs> cuisine. Yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about that in a little oh, bit too. Okay. Yeah, but what else at the new market? Um, we have a more than mushrooms guy coming. Okay. Yeah. And um, I don't know the names of these mushrooms, but they are, there are some weird looking mushrooms bet, there for yeah. people that know their mushrooms. Um, yeah, so he's coming and he does both um, edible and herbal mushrooms. And he also has some kind of powdered, uh, he has some dried mushrooms Interesting. as well. Okay. Yeah. And he lives in Quincy, actually, oh, so all right. Matt's his name. And we have a compost company coming, um, Bootstrap Compost. Hmm. Um, they'll be there to uh, hopefully sign people up to do the collection of scraps in return for compost. Um, you know, you leave your they give you a bucket and you yep. put your scraps in yep. and pick it up and then they leave you the compost. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. I'm looking forward to that because I told you I lost two trees in my yard, yes. so now I have a, I can have a big garden in my backyard. So you need good compost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking forward to that. And I always felt a little guilty with all the cooking I do I, to throw the scraps away. So now you can put so them to good use. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, we also have a... Uh, uh, we feel, feel free yeah. to use your notes. Yeah, that's it's okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Oh, Mike. Mike's farm. Oh, the, 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 the egg, egg guy. guy. Yeah, guy. Okay. Yeah, Mike, Mike's coming <laughs> back. He's from Pembroke. Yeah. Actually, I guess he is a, a, an old addition. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. Brings he, his chicken. Yeah. He's very excited, though, for the Sunday oh, market. Oh, that's fine. Okay. He's also going to uh, bring maple syrup from Ackermans. Yes. Okay. For those people that, you know, are looking to get Ackermans maple syrup, he'll Great. have it. And um, Golden Rule, we'll also be selling Golden Rule honey. Okay. Um, Laurie will not be at the market this uh, through the season, which ends, by the way, in October, okay. the last week in October. Um, but she'll have her honey here. And there is a very strong possibility that the market will go into the winter. Wow. Really? And yes, okay. yeah. Because the church is interested and many of the farmers are interested. Um, you know, for example, Charles River mm -hmm. has three of uh, two, at least two, I've seen two, uh, football size field uh, greenhouses. I see. And okay. so they do the vegetables you know the greens and things all year long sure okay and uh, also mushrooms all year long so they've been wanting to do that okay and mike the egg guy is always goes up to pageant field anyways uh, through the winter with his eggs so yes. he's excited okay and daily farm also has uh, a greenhouse that i've seen the greenhouse so they're interested all right um and many of the added value people would be interested as well added value people um uh, well like uh, the bakeries and things oh, i'll I tell see. you about later okay but uh, I guess this all started because Laurie will join the winter market uh, from Golden Rule Honey. Okay. Right now she's doing Boston, you know, at the Soa market, and she, that's just really a big market for I her. See. So okay. She's been there for years. Yeah. And I mean, people forget this is how these folks make their living. That's you know, right. This, yeah. This is not their weekend job yeah, or exactly. their their side hustle, if you were. Yeah. This is how they sustain their families. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So some of the added value people that we have, we have a startup bakery in Quincy called the Yeast Coast Bakery. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's an, um, he's an Italian guy that just loves to feed people. And he said he started baking over the um, pandemic. Yes. And he was giving his food to all his friends and he's like, I think I'm going to do a business out of this. And he does um, scones and um, uh, sweetbreads, mm. you know, um, coffee cakes and yes. things like that. Okay. He'll do some cookies. Uh, and he'll bring some bread as well, I believe. You know. Nice. I mean, he said, I can really bake anything. And if he's Italian, I believe that. <laughs> I believe that, too. Yeah. There's nothing better than fresh baked bread yeah. after church yeah. on Sunday. It's, it's yeah. a tradition that goes back in my childhood, for sure. So yeah. that's nice. Okay. And then we have a cookie company that's coming, a top, sh top shelf cookie, cookies. 
um, Heather started her business a, um, maybe five or six years ago, I think, and they've expanded, and she called me up and wanted to come to Quincy. Wow. So they make about 24 different kinds of cookies. Uh, they make four or five different chocolate cookies. They make a spicy chocolate. They make a, a lager infused, if that's the right word, chocolate, okay. and a whiskey chocolate huh. cookie. Um, they have orange, cinnamon cookies, sugar cookies. They do specialty cookies like when the Bruins were in the playoffs. They made a special cookie for the Bruins. Okay, you know? all right. Yeah. They're, they're, they're fun. And um, like I said, they make 24 or more varieties. And they don't have every one every week. Sure. But, you know, they have their staples and then they add during Specialty the items, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's right. Well, they can't add the Celtics one, unfortunately. No, I, <laughs> I know. Well, let's not go there. Always next year. Let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's keep yeah, it light. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, you really have a, a huge variety, it sounds like. Of, of, yeah, it's of a vendors. really nice lineup, I yeah. think. We have a Mimi's Kitchen coming. She's from the North Shore, and um, she is bringing Italian specialties. She's bringing bread as well, but she... Um, bringing her, her gravy, mm. and for the Italian people know that gravy is really sauce. That's right, exactly, <laughs> right? yes. And um, meatballs and uh, eggplant wow. roll-ups, and um, she'll be bringing other specialties. Making week me hungry here, week. Janet. Yeah, 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 she's, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting her. She sounds like a character on yeah. the phone, so. So what did it take, I mean, to put this whole new market together? I mean, it must have been an awful lot of work, but it sounds like you've really got a, a great variety of people that never had a venue here in Quincy before. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, people say it's a lot of work. It, it, it kind of, people contact us. Really? And then, you know, we talk them through the process, and for every vendor we get, we probably talk to three or four. Okay. People, you know, think they, I make a great, fudge can I come to the market yeah. well it has to be made in a commercial kitchen you, know, th th you have to have liability insurance mm. things like that that prevent people from following through interesting things yeah. you don't think of the behind the scenes stuff yeah, yeah. okay yeah. very good and then we also have um, another woman who does an enhance me super food and um, she's from the Caribbean and she takes a bunch of ingredients and kind of puts it all together and you can like put it over a salad mm -hmm. for you know for super in uh, nutritional enrichment I guess okay. so that'll be interesting to see all right um, we have a few crafters coming actually I was gonna ask if you had that yeah because we that have was part of the old market I yeah. know yeah um, well we encourage artists any artists that want to show their work please contact us we'd love to have someone every week through the summer okay coming with their art be there talk to people you know get their name out okay uh, they can come as a guest to the market okay. so there'd be no no fee for them to attend very nice okay yeah. so reach out through your website or your yeah. email or yeah phone they can number? okay yeah it's on the website yep. all the information they can just contact us by email the phone number is on the website as well okay yeah but a guy who has a company called Imagination Tables is coming, hmm. and he builds these tables that you can reconfigurate and and like store toys and kind things. Kind of modular in type. Yeah, it okay. seems like that. So he'll be there several weeks during the summer. Okay. And we have a, a um, there are, um, Elaine Simmons and what's the other woman's name? Uh, Patricia Harrington. They're two artists. They're mm -hmm. coming with a combination of things. One does a dog portraits. Okay. <laughs> oh. their dog, you know. Bring your dog. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I'm not quite sure. That's something we have to figure oh, out okay. because I'm not sure the church wants dogs. Bring there. a picture of your dog. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. that, that's something we're going to have to decide in the next week. Okay. Guess, which is, Quincy's a big dog place. Certainly. So, you know, we'll As I mentioned, there's happens. a new dog park now. Yeah. And yeah so, okay. Yeah. And uh, they do gift cards and kind of um, kind of Mm, you have to kind of see them. I've seen them. They're kind of creative, colorful, um, surreal kind of paintings as well. Interesting. So, but okay. they'll be there showing their art. And I have a photographer coming, photos by uh, Fares is his name. His name is Fares Alti. Hmm. Oh, at Alti, yeah. And um, he does these incredibly colorful photographs that he prints on uh, metal. Okay. And the metal causes the light reflection to just intensify the color. Interesting. But he's also interested in um, 
promoting his business of photography. Sure. So if you have yeah. a wedding or you know yes. yeah. whatever, you know, he's interested in doing that okay. as well. Okay. Wow, just about something for everyone it sounds yeah. like. So let's talk about the a little bit of logistics about the location now. It's mm -hmm. uh, St. Chrysostom's Episcopal Church. It's mm -hmm. the corner of Hancock Street and Linden Street. Linden Street, right? right yes. Is it considered Wollaston or is it North Quincy? It's actually right between the two. It's on the cusp. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In fact, Father Chris Capaldo, uh, who is the uh, pastor that contacted us, said that the church was actually, that that location was chosen as a to unite both communities. It's almost like partially dead center between the two. Okay. And it's about four blocks, I think, from the um, T station, the Wollaston T station. Okay. Uh, there is a, a parking lot there, so okay. it's available available for parking. But there's also parking on the side streets on Sundays in the main street. So there's plenty of parking. Okay. Um, yeah. It's a beautifully uh, grassy shaded spot as nice, well. Nice. And the church is really, I think, attractive. Of course, that's your architectural taste <laughs> vary, right, but right, yeah. it's a it's a pretty spot. Sure. Yeah. So it's a whole new market, really, right, yeah. for, for the Quincy Farmers Market at that end of the city. It is. Are it's a whole new market. Yeah, like I say, people oh. have been asking for a weekend market, yeah. and when um, the church contacted us, we thought we'd give it a shot to okay. see if we can keep, you know, the integrity of agriculture alive in the city. Right, so. right. So you're hoping, obviously, uh, a lot of folks will uh, walk there. It's, 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 you mm -hmm. know, a lot of residential yeah. uh, high rises in that That's area, right, community yeah. buildings, sure. In the whole community of Wollaston, it, from the beach, you know, from Hancock Street to the beach, is just all neighborhood right. houses, so they're very walkable as well. Sure, yeah. And like I say, on Sundays, the traffic isn't so severe Correct, on yeah. going through the city, so access by car will be pretty easy as yeah. well. Yeah, okay. So do you think there is enough of a market in Quincy to have two so-called yeah. farmers markets? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, well there's definitely enough people. There's over 100,000 people right. in the city, yeah. so you know, it's just a matter of people coming out and supporting the Sunday market. Right, right. So interesting, yeah, yeah. to see that the, the Quincy Farmers Market is, is going in a whole new direction now. Yeah. Literally and figuratively, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. What does it take, Janet, to uh, get the word out uh, to let folks know, you know, that this is changing? Yeah, well, um, obviously people can hear it here. We have some flyers up around the... Okay. Um, I'll be sending out a newsletter um, announcing it this week. Okay. If you'd like to get the newsletter, you can go to quincyfarmersmarket.com, and there's a sign-up place at the website to get the newsletter. Okay. Um, you know... Research says that what sells a farmer's market is its location and visibility. Mm. <laughs> and this is really, a, a, has great visibility. You know, as you ride through the city, you see the tents and you stop. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we feel positive about the success of the market because of that, that the visibility is great. Sure. Yeah. Be curious to see, too, with uh, the economy the way it is now, you know, if folks uh, will want to stay local, you know, and, yeah. and patronize their local farmer yeah. as opposed to the, the big chain stores. Uh, yeah, well, there, you know, supply, food supply is affected through this p pandemic yep. and the inflation and all of that. So. Yep. You still offering Quincy Eats? Uh, I remember the, uh, the old market, you had the delivery service. Oh, you know what? I, I don't know. Oh, That's okay. a good question. Okay. I suppose Mike would do that if um, people didn't really take advantage of oh, it they last didn't. year. Okay. No, no. So I don't know. I don't know. I okay. have to look into that question. <laughs> All right. You just be curious to see everybody's yeah. ordering everything online these days. Yeah. Um, any pandemic restrictions or concerns? No. Okay. No. Okay. There's no. There's no. Um, no restrictions. No. There will be music at the market. Okay. Um, we have. It'll all be local musicians and original tunes, original music, and some classical music as well. Sure. Um, because it's in a neighborhood, it, you know, it'll be peaceful, <laughs> subdued music, yes. you know, big rock bands <laughs> blaring. But well, I think we were talking about this earlier. Folks are used to activities happening at the church. Um, you know, they, yeah. had, they do have uh, concerts. As a matter of fact, tonight there is one that you'll be yes. performing in if folks right. want to come on down come and on listen down. to the Atlantic Youth mm -hmm. Orchestra at 7 o'clock. Yeah, fun. Uh, but I know they have uh, uh, kids' activities um, there at the church as well, mm -hmm. um, flea markets, things yeah. like that. So they have something tomorrow, actually, Do they? At okay. in, on the grounds happening tomorrow. Yeah, there's always something going yeah. on. So when the church actually has its own newsletter um, that folks can subscribe to. And I'm, I'm betting that the farmer's market will be mentioned in one of those. I'm yes. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else we should let folks know about? Um, 
Not really. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing so, comes to mind. So again, it's the Quincy Farmers Market at St. Chrysostom's Episcopal Church. Sundays, what are the hours again? 1 to 5. 1 to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Opening June 26th. Through right October through. 30th. Is at least. Day, yeah. With a big possibility going extending into the winter. Yeah. If anybody's interested in starting up a business or, you know, wants to become a vendor at the market, they can contact us. Okay. We'd love to have a Vietnamese sandwich maker. Oh, that fun. would be great. Okay. You yep. know, a couple food vendors. We have uh, we wouldn't mind having, you know, another bakery or Okay. You know. Something for everyone. Great to see you, Janet. Thanks yeah. so much. I wish you the very best of continued success again at the Quincy Farmers Market. Well thanks. And your 41st Thanks, year this year. Yes, in, in our 12th season, Kevin and I have been doing the market for 12 years. Wow, well, good for you. Long Thank time. you for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Just enough time to check the forecast for you for the rest of the day today. Look out for some afternoon uh, pop-up thunderstorms with this hazy, uh, muggy weather. Temperatures in the mid-80s this afternoon. But it will clear out and dry up tonight as temperatures dip to the lower 60s. Not a bad weekend coming up uh, tomorrow. Mix of clouds and sun, upper 60s. More clouds than sun on Sunday. And uh, nice again here on Monday with highs in the mid-70s. Thanks again to Janet Little for joining us today from the Quincy Farmers Markets. My pleasure. Thank you to our crew. Thank you for watching. By the way, we're off on Monday for the Juneteenth holiday. Join us next Friday. Quincy Recreation Director Michelle Hanley will be here to tell us all about the Quincy Summer Rec Programs. Don't forget our website anytime, qatv.org. All our latest news, programs, video on demand, live streaming, and a whole lot more. For all of us here at QATV, I'm Joe Catalano. Have a great weekend.